been 84 years. 14 years. It's been 14 years since The Incredibles came out. How crazy is that? Thankfully, Bright Bird is back with the best Fantastic Four franchise we've ever got. Seriously though, The Incredibles was pretty awesome. And the sequel is being released next week. So here I am to tell you everything you need to know before working in the theaters to see the Pixar movie. Number 1. The villain of the sequel. So the villain is called Screen Slaver. This guy. And he's apparently using TV screens to hypnotize people. And by the sound of this, his name, we get the feel that the sequel will not in any way shy away from the superhero cliches that made the first one so incredible. See what I did there? Number 2 The Timeline Yes, it's been 14 years for us, but not for our heroes as the sequel picks up right after the first one. I mean literally, the first scene of the sequel is where the first one ends. So if you don't remember, I would advise you to revisit The Incredibles before rushing in the theaters. Number 3 New Characters and Plots Incredibles 2 as this in the trailers will follow Elastic Girl as she gets recruited by a film trying to make superheroes popular again while Bob, well, watches the kids. So basically the plot of the first one. But hey, if he ain't broke, don't fix it. The character recruiting Elastic Girl is Winston Behavior, played by Bob Odenkirk. His character runs a film with his sister Evelyn Behavior. While he is described as the guy who runs the telecommunication company that he and his sister like, owns, he is also described as a superhero fan who is dedicated to bring the supers back in the spotlight. His sister, however, is described as a tech wizard, the brain of the company. That should be interesting. Then we have Void, played by Sophia Bush. Or Sophia, how do you pronounce it? Sophia or Sophia? I don't know. God, I love Sophia Bush or Sophia Bush's voice and I will go to see this movie for that reason alone. Her voice is so sexy. I'm sorry. I love it. Her character is a superhero who is massive, who is a massive Elastic Girl fangirl and wants to be just like her. She already has powers including the ability to create voids that allow objects to shift in space, disappear and reappear in other places. Another addition is, however, Isabella Rossellini as the ambassador, an ambassador who supports the legalization of superheroes. This sounds like it's going to be more political than expected. I love it. Number 4. Not all the original cast members are returning. I mean, all of them are coming back. Craig T. Nelson as Mr. Incredible, Holly Hunter as Elastigirl, Samuel L. Jackson as Frozen, Brad Bird as Edna, Sarah Vowell as Violet, but they had to change the voice of Dash. While Sarah Vowell can still make herself sound like a little girl, it was an impossible task for Spencer Fox, who grew up, I mean, it's been 14 years. And he's being replaced by Huck Miller as Dash. And honestly, I didn't even notice any difference in the trailers. So, there's that. Number 5. Why the sequel took so long? Talking with comicbook.com, here to Brad Bird had this to say about why the sequel took so long to make. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is that many sequels are cash grabs. And there is a saying in the business that I can't stand where they go. You don't make another one, you're leaving money on the table. Jesus! You know, money on the table is not what makes me get up in the morning. Making something that people are going to enjoy 100 years from now is what gets me up. So if it were a cash grab, we would not have taken 14 years. It makes no financial sense to wait this long. It's surely because we had a story that we wanted to tell. So, it seems pretty clear to me Brad Bird had no rush and complete, I completely agree with him. Take your time to craft the best story you can. 14 years though? Hmm. Anyway, are you seeing Incredibles 2 in the theaters next weekend? If not, 
why